Hi friends, I can't tell you if you can see me because my camera's flipped upside down currently. <coughs> Sorry, still mildly sick, but we are going to the farmer's market today. I'm so excited. I've been here once. We went here last year. It's every Saturday and it's like an award-winning farmer's market that we have in our small northern Tennessee town. I'm just going to say it. It's Clarksville. Um, but it's like apparently a really great farmer's market. Last year it was like peak COVID. The time that we tried to go, it, parking was impossible. I'm currently parallel parked, but like not really because there's no cars in front or behind me. But like other cars might park around me and then I will be parallel parked. And I will take full credit for it and maybe Snapchat it later. Anyway, last time we went, there was like a line to even get on the street of the farmer's market and I wasn't about that life. There was food trucks and stuff though, so it looked really nice um, and I decided we'd try it again. And it's only like 9 a.m. so it's not too hot out and let's go. Just got back in the car. That was a lot of fun and a lot more, a lot bigger than I ex remembered, not than I expected, than I remembered from last year. I remember last year, I think it was just one street. This year they had three streets of tents set up and I tried to film a little bit, but I didn't want to get in people's faces, especially since there's a lot of Amish people there and I don't know the rules about filming the Amish. Um, so anyway, I bought some tea, raspberry and rose tea. It is a loose leaf. I did just pick up a tea jar from Goodwill. If you watched my thrift video that I did, I don't know if I posted that before this one or not. So if I'm talking about a thrift video and you haven't seen one, that's going up next. I also got a bag of freshly ground coffee. They ground this right in front of me. I picked up the beans. I said, I want this one. And they said, all right, give us a few minutes and gave me back this bag. It smells so good. I got butter pecan flavor. It's from a brand called, a local brand called Baby Duck Coffee. Let me just say, I love supporting local businesses. That's a whole reason why I came. I just love the happiness that like spreads across their face when you make a purchase from them, um, when you're like buying their passion and these people like to make coffee. And so they were really grateful and I love that. But $17 for a bag of coffee, that is way over my normal grocery budget for coffee. So I hope that this is fantastic so I can keep supporting them um, but yeah it smells fantastic I also bought the kids some muffins from a local bakery and I think that was it tea coffee and muffins and now we're going home because I'm super sweaty playing with the cat with what is that what is it it's yeah that is Wilbur but what do you have in your hand I don't even I, I don't even do these I don't know where this came from sorry if you can hear wonder pets in the background but I needed the kids to be occupied while I did a major cleanup around the apartment you guys know I'm in the middle of a 30-day oh frick closet I almost said college closet clean out challenge which by the way that video is coming along and should be up soon I just can't do the voiceover until I'm done with this cough but this bag is all for Play-Doh's closet this is clothes that I know I'm not gonna wear in the 30-day closet challenge so I don't even have to try and include that in that um, video I feel like I'm having such an issue talking right now and then this box is for Salvation Army it's just got some cups a little portable easel I never use and stuff I just need to get out of my closet. I also put together a box of the kids' clothes and a couple toys that are gonna go to the kids' version of Plato's Closet called Once Upon a Child. I probably won't do that tomorrow. 
but I will be going to Play-Dohs tomorrow. So you guys will see that and see if they actually give me any money for this, which some of this is brand new. Like these shoes, I just didn't return in time because I got a size nine for some reason, which I'm a size eight. I don't know why I did that. Um, they're really cute, but they're just way too big and I literally never wore them. They'll probably give me like three bucks for them. All right, next day, I'm actually at Panera right now waiting for my free coffee of the day. I'm so excited about it. Um, Panera, not Panera, Play-Doh's Closet happens to be right next door to that. So we did just drop off my bag of stuff and they ended up taking six things <coughs> and gave me $25, which honestly better than I expected because I have really outdated clothes that I was trying to sell and $25 is a lot more than I expected. I already said that, I need coffee. All right, and there you have it. I just walked in and picked it up off of the little pickup shelf and it was ready to go. I am loving this coffee subscription. All right, we just got home and I'm looking over like what they took and what they didn't. And I am actually astonished that they left the brand new shoes. Like I'm pretty sure I got these on sale back in December when I bought them, but full price, these were like at least 40 bucks. So it's amazing that they didn't want not even worn brand new shoes and they ended up taking some like jeans that i got from shein for like nine dollars and left some really nice stuff it's old but it's nice like it's not stained or anything and you sir are being absolutely crazy today is this a plug no no this is supposed to keep you safe not be a choking hazard uh Okay, welcome back to the next day. I thought I would just continue this on because we're kind of doing more of the same. We're about to go to Once Upon a Child with a huge bag of stuff that hopefully they will buy from me. And if they don't, I will just donate it, which is fine. I'm just trying to see if I can get anything back for it because kids are expensive. Also, it's right over by Panera where I'm gonna go get my free coffee. And then while they look through our clothes, I'm not going to buy anything because I'm doing a no spend month for August because I have special plans coming up in September. Um, but anyway, um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, I'm not going to buy anything, but I heard that at home has their Halloween stuff out. It's also right next to a TJ Maxx and I think Hobby Lobby as well. I think all of them might start having their fall stuff out and I just want to go browse. So. Um, yeah, I should probably mention, in September, my sister's coming to visit. That's my, like, special thing that I have coming up. She has a birthday on August 17th, and then I just got divorced, so we're going to celebrate together. And we are going to go to Nashville and do some fun stuff. I want to do, like, girly things. Brunch, bottomless mimosas. You can probably hear Fievel asking me if I pooped over and over. I just need a little break, so luckily Nick lives in town now, and he can take the kids, and me and my sister can go do fun adult stuff. And I want to go, like, kayaking. I don't know. I hope she's down for anything, because I... I'm really excited about this. at the at-home store. They had so much Halloween stuff. You good? Everyone's losing their mind. <laughs> We're freaking up coffee and then going home. So once upon a child had a three hour wait, but they give you a text alert when they are done looking through your bags. So we're just gonna go home and sit home for three hours because I'm not gonna walk around a shopping center and not buy anything for three hours. That's just not possible. And now for the fun part. We are now home. I got $39 from Once Upon a Child for the baby clothes. They took more than I expected. I don't know why. I just feel like it's more fun to put the money in a jar that says Nashville instead of just depositing it into my bank account. It just makes it more exciting, kind of like a little countdown thing. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be our food and fun money. Anyway, I just put one of my kids down to sleep and I need to clean up and do stuff like edit this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next 